What's up everyone, welcome back to yet another video. Michael here, we've got some exciting news today. I am finally releasing instructions for my Mr. Chill ice cream shop build. Now, if you're one of the people that was interested in this set, you may know this has taken a really long time to make happen. I released the original video seven months ago in June of 2022. I've had so many people asking me where they can get instructions for this, and it is finally here. After seven months, I have finally decided to put these instructions out, make them available. To be honest, I never intended to publish the instructions when I made the build. I did actually record a how-to video at one point on how to build this ice cream shop, but I ended up scrapping it. Um, I just didn't really think that it was very helpful. I was like, I should just sit down, try to knock out these instructions. And so that is what I did. So the instructions have been submitted and accepted, and they are now available on rebrickable.com. Since they are so late, since I posted the original video, I'm gonna be doing a special deal. For the first week, I'm gonna make these instructions available for free, and after that they'll be available on rebrickable for five dollars so if this video is less than seven days old when you are watching it go ahead and go down in the description you can click on the google drive link and download the instructions for free if you guys still want to support the channel feel free to buy me a coffee the good news is even though the original uh, mr chill ice cream truck launched in 2020 from lego it is not yet retired and even though they're currently on back order on lego's website they will ship in february or faster from many other retailers so you can still get get the ice cream truck if you want it. I would recommend buying the ice cream truck rather than uh, just sourcing the parts yourself. And you'll see a lot of the key elements on the ice cream shop. A lot of these key pieces are actually from the original ice cream truck. At least buy the sticker sheets because the stickers do kind of make this project stand out a little bit more. So my set uses two of the ice cream trucks and a bunch of other pieces to actually construct the shop itself. And I also built mine on a mills plate with a bunch of tiling outside, so that adds to the piece count as well. But if you do buy the uh, instructions and build them exactly as they are written, it will be about 966 pieces. So like I said, you are more than welcome to just come on this rebrickable listing here and come down and just click on the inventory and you can just buy all the parts direct this is one way you can do it. I would personally, as I said, recommend buying the two ice cream trucks first. Um, so you guys will have to let me know if there's a better way to do this. But what you can do is if you come down here to the ice cream truck set and you add this to your collection, so that way Rebrickable knows that you have these parts already. So you wanna come to my sets, you wanna add Lego set 60253 to your collection and then we're gonna add two of them because obviously we need two for this build. So Rebrickable now knows 2X and it says we have the spare parts. So now, once you come back to the mock and you come to the inventory section, you'll see that Rebrickable will already know which parts that you have. So on my screen it's showing I have all the parts because I have both the ice cream truck and uh, the extra parts loaded into my collection. Just in case I did a create a part list that is only the extra parts, in case it gets confusing, um, this is a list of just the extra parts that are needed in addition to the ones that are in the set. So what I'll do is I will export these as an Excel file and I'll put them in the description too, just so that's there. In case you can't figure it out, I've already had someone ask me, which parts do I need to get if I've got one ice cream truck? Like which parts do I need to get if I've already got both of the ice cream trucks? So trying to make that super simple here, but uh, if you have any further questions, just let me know. Making these instructions was my first big project that I've ever done on BrickLink Studio. And it was actually quite fun to be uh, perfectly honest. I really enjoyed it. It was very methodical. It's basically like the same satisfaction of Lego building, just without the uh, tactile element of it, of connecting the pieces together. So it still works like your brain muscles and you have to think about the order you wanna make the instructions in. Lego Studio is a super cool program. I mean, look at these like professional looking renders. Look at these professional looking instructions that make it super easy to uh, make it look nice. So I really did appreciate that. You can make them look exactly like Lego instructions. I think that's about it for my instructions. You should have everything you need in the description below. I'm sorry that this took so long, but I hope making them available for free for the next seven days at least heals those wounds just a little bit. I appreciate everyone's interest. I appreciate everyone's support of the channel, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.
Oh,